Hi all, Coffee here, and somehow I've made it to a thousand subscribers on YouTube without mentioning coffee once. So I thought it was time to end that with this video. Now, here we've got a tin of coffee, and here we've got HC110, film developer. Now you'd be forgiven that thinking all these two had in common was giving you the shits before 9am, but you'd be wrong. These two can both develop black and white film. No, not quite like that, so let's have a dive into how this is done. Firstly, this only works with black and white films, so I think this does work with some colour films, but you'll end up with really sepia looking results, and for me that's not something I'm interested in, so we'll be sticking to black and white, and we'll be using HP5. Now I didn't want to use a roll of film that I cared about, so we quickly headed out and burnt through a roll of film. So for a one litre solution of coffee developer, what do you need? First of all, you need a panic attack inducing 18 teaspoons of instant coffee. And if that wasn't enough to wake up the film, we're gonna give it another kick with some vitamin C, and that's three teaspoons. And lastly, you need washing soda, and that's about 12 level teaspoons. Now in the UK, finding washing soda was actually a little bit tricky. I ended up finding it in a spa, but I think most supermarkets will have it. You'll just have to have a bit of a hunt for it. So let's get cracking. First of all, what you need to do is get your film into the developing tank. If you've never seen how to do that before, there are plenty of videos on YouTube that show you how to do it. We're not gonna cover that in the video. The development times for each film vary, as you'd expect, and there's a helpful little table on a website called www.caffanel.com. So there you go, it's even got a bit of a name too. And if you look for Caffanol on things like Massive Dev Chart, it will be on there too. Now for me, doing Ilford HP5, this needed to be at 20 degrees and for 10 minutes. So what I did is I started off by preparing a big tub of water and getting it at a nice steady 20 degrees. And my house is about 20 degrees anyway, so it tends to sit at 20 degrees if you just leave it on the side. I was only doing one roll of film, so all of the ingredients that I gave you earlier, I actually only needed 300 mil, but for the sake of keeping things easy, I made 500 mil instead, so I just halved all the ingredients. Now the general advice is you mix these separately, so when I weighed them out, I put them into three separate containers, and then for the vitamin C and the washing soda, I added a little bit of cold water, not too much, just a little bit, and gave it a really good mix. Now you wanna get all the air out of it, so with the things like the vitamin C tablet, it fizzed for quite a long time, so I just gave it a continuous mix until all of the air came out. Then with the coffee, what I did was I actually put in a little bit of hot water to help dissolve the coffee, and then I topped that up with a little bit of cold water as well, gave it a really good mix, and left all three of them just to stand for 10 minutes or so, so that all of the air bubbles left. Then what I did is I combined all three of these together into a big tall flask and then topped it up with the 20 degree water all the way up to the 500 mil mark. And there you go. That is literally it. That is your developer. From here, it's your usual process. You're just using that coffee solution to develop. So for me, what does that mean? That means I take some of the 20 degree water, I put it in my development tank and leave it for a minute. And this is just a bit of a pre-wash. It also gets the tub up to temperature. After a minute, I then pour that out and in goes the developer. Now, I couldn't find anywhere that told me how many agitations I needed to do, so I just went with five agitations every 30 seconds and went for it for 10 minutes. And to keep the developing tank at 20 degrees, what I do is I float it in that big bath of water and it just helps hold it at that temperature. At the end of the 10 minutes, I then poured out the developer and don't be tricked into thinking this is like a green, eco-friendly way of doing things. There's still silver residue that has come off the film, so that is still harmful to the environment, so please dispose of them carefully. I dispose of them separately and then take these chemicals to my local recycling center and they dispose of them properly. Having emptied out the developer, I then did a few washes and I didn't bother with a stock bath. I just gave it a good few shakes and poured it out and then got on with the fixer. I used the Ilford Rapid Fixer, which is a ratio of four to one and I need 300 mil for my single roll of film. So that meant 60 mil of fixer, 240 mil of the 20 degree water and in it went. Now I do this for five minutes and I give it five inversions every minute. And then when I finished, again, dispose of them separately into my big container. And then that's it, you just gotta wash next. So I then take all of that 20 degree water, I pour it in, and then I do five inversions, pour it out, then do 10, pour it out, 15, pour it out, 20, pour it out. And that was it, all done ready to open the developing tank and see what had happened. So how did it turn out? Well, to my absolute shock, it turned out pretty well. I wasn't expecting much from this. I thought it was gonna be one of those things you read on the internet 
and yeah I believe it works but I didn't think it was gonna be very easy but the negatives actually came out looking quite good and here is them images <laughs> You can see from the developing there is a few development marks in there, there's a few of those like swirly sort of patterns, but at the end of the day what do you expect? I was expecting pretty gritty results and that's what we got, but I think exposure wise and things they've actually come out really quite well. So there it is, it really is possible to develop film with coffee and a couple of sort of random household ingredients. Will I be giving this another go? Yeah, I think I will. It was actually really good fun and it felt completely wrong, but I really enjoyed doing it. I'm interested to know, have you guys ever tried this? Is it something you've tried before? What were your results like? Were they good? I'm surprised at how good mine were. Did you guys get good results? And if you have any questions on how I've done anything in this video, please feel free to drop me a line in the comments and I'll get back to you. If you've enjoyed this video, please do not forget to like and subscribe. I thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.